Hey guys, Ash here, back with another painting. This one's a 9-11 tribute. Um, I woke up today and, you know, just a little bit before making this painting, actually, and realized what day it was and, and thought, you know, I don't think in the past I've ever really gotten around to posting, um, you know, a piece of art related to this, even though all my time working out here on the Vegas Strip doing the spray paint art, you know, I've made, you know, dozens of these paintings over the years. So, um, yeah, so I thought I'd get up and knock one of these out and tell you a little bit about the process and also kind of talking about, you know, where I was, you know, on this day, you know, back when it all went down. Um, I'm sure for most people, um, for most people, you don't really forget, you know, where you were when such a major tragedy, you know, strikes. You kind of remember that moment where, you're just hit with it like, oh my God, this is going down. And I remember I was sitting at home and my family's house back in Claremont, Florida, uh, chilling online on the computer. Uh, I was back in the days of uh, AOL. And I remember my mom come running in the room rambling about, you know, oh, you know, a plane flew into the, the, the trade center. And I'm thinking just like someone's little private plane or something. So, you know, I put on the news and I'm looking at it. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's actually a big passenger jet. And so so what I ended up doing, though, was jumping into like a New York City based chat room to, uh, you know, hear the, the latest, you know, more immediate info from people. And I knew that a second plane hit the other building before it even came up, you know, before it was even on the news. And I just remember being awestruck over it. Like, I mean, who could imagine something like this, you know, happening? It's just incredibly tragic. And just all the, you know, the lives lost and the amazing response by our, you know, the, the police force, EMTs, firefighters, you know, even, uh, you know, civilians. It's just incredible outpouring and just very tragic loss of life. Um, but uh, coming over to... Let me step back to the painting here, though. As you see, I'm kind of, you know, preparing the sky in the background is an American flag. Um, you're just using a scrap of paper to um, help get, like, those sharper lines to put, like, the white um, flag lines in. And uh, creating some, some shadows of, like, a, a wrinkle. The flag wrinkling in the bottom gives it more three dimension and uh, depth. But I want it to kind of transition like it's a natural sky, which is why the blue isn't like a perfect, you know, squared off area. And now I'm just using my uh, paint scraper tool. Like I said it's it's dinged up on the edge there to put little little teeth in it to get those lines in the buildings. And while the paint's still wet and a little clear coat, you, know, you can just etch in there and play with it all day long as long as you keep it keep it wet. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, it's, it's interesting though, you know, to this day, you know, like, you know, like they say, they'll never, never forget. And I truly think this is a, an event in our nation's history that we won't, you know, we won't soon forget. Oh, sorry. Throat's dry. It's really dry air out here, but it's actually, uh, even the morning is kind of fitting for the day here in Vegas. It doesn't look like the sky is filled with smoke from California. It actually looks almost like rain weather. Very gloomy looking though, so very, very somber morning for a somber day. But uh, thankfully the, the weather's still still staying nice and cool. Finally getting into the fall season, but uh, I'm not going to enjoy that too much out here as I'm preparing to move. So you can see there, I got the uh, skyline all etched in and, you know, just uh, a very rough New York City skyline with the Trade Center. And uh, again, using a scrap of paper to just kind of mask off the lower portion there. Um, in case you hear what I'm adding, a little yellow and orange because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to etch in the uh, Brooklyn Bridge. But um, I didn't bring the paint all the way down when I was laying, laying down color for the buildings. So, um, and like I said, whatever you want you know, something in the foreground to be like, you know, buildings, trees and such, if you're going to etch it in there, you got to put that color down first and then build on top of it. So, uh, now I got the blues going down for the water, some white, just add in some highlight. 
another drink. <laughs> like I said, it's a painting. It's changed a lot over the over the years for me as I've made it. I mean, out here on the like I say, out here on the Vegas Strip, you get a lot of odd requests for people, and we try to accommodate things. I've had people who want, you know, this painting, but can I make it look like the buildings are on fire, you know, smoke, or can I actually put a plane in there, and, you know, just all kinds of, kinds of crazy requests, and this one, I used to have a, a different variation of this, where the skyline was raised up a little higher, and down below was actually, um, silhouettes of the, was it like the three, it's like three firefighters, like holding a flag or something, but, um, I know I couldn't find that stencil and I just I felt like going with this one just uh more of a uh um you know remembering what you know the skyline looked like you know before the tragedy and so now I'm using that you know the corner edge of the tool to scrape in some some lines there for the uh the cabling and stuff along the bridge I had a slight audio hiccup, but um, <laughs> now I always thought it was a uh, pretty amazing, you know the the kind of people that are you know the firefighters, the EMTs, the police officers, the ones that you know willingly rush into danger to help save lives. I just I, I think that's such an incredible aspect of the human spirit, and <clears throat> ultimately something you know I think we're all capable of. You know, even if not right away, it's certainly an attribute you can, you know, learn to cultivate because I just feel like a lot of it is, you know, you know, mindset and also to a degree, I'm sure there's their training involved. You know, I guess when you're more uh, trained to handle a situation, you're less fearful of it, although it's hard to imagine not being, you know, scared out of your mind, you know, in, a, in circumstances like that. But um, obviously, the more you know, capable you feel to handle a situation, the less fearful you fear about you know you feel about it. But it's just it's still incredible, even with that training, that when <clears throat> excuse me, something so tragic happens that you know your body's natural fight or flight response kicks in, and you know for some people it's to take off you know running like crazy, get as far away from danger as possible, and yet then there's others that stop and actually think about other people in danger and in need of help and rush toward the danger to try to help. And it's always, and I always found it, you know, fascinating just from like a psychological, you know, perspective of like that, um, that aspect of human nature. It's just, uh, it's really incredible. And, and overall, we're all really grateful for, you know, the, the sacrifices made that day to help save lives. Uh, just real quick finishing up here. Um, I added some like cloud, like a cloudy fog cover along the bottom just to kind of give it a little, I don't know, a little something <laughs> and a little shadowing under the bridge for dimension and uh, adding in some big stars at the top there. Like I said, I wanted the sky to, to sort of resemble a combination of like the flag, but also a, a night, a natural night sky. But um, I put in five giant stars to represent, you know, the big stars of the flag. And that about wraps it up. You know, just a little yellowish orange color down there at the bottom. Just a, something warm to contrast with the blue in the water. And I'm signing it and writing in, never forget, because it's something we'll never forget. You know, this day will stick with us for a long time. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.